All right, so now I decided that I'm going to take some of this cheesecloth and I'm going to do some old way of, it's called tea dyeing. I'm going to take all these old tea bags. So I kept these tea bags, they were given to me free many years ago. And we're going to use them to dye this cheesecloth because I want it dyed brown for a project this summer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's starting to look just the way I want it to. I'm going to have to let it soak a little bit longer. I don't want the red tint. I want to look at, make it look a little more brown. And I'm finally going to work on my cinnamon ornaments for in our bedroom in my little pine tree. All we do is add equal parts of the applesauce and equal parts of cinnamon. To give it a little more scent, we're going to use the pumpkin spice. I want to thank you so much for watching this video today and spending the morning with me. As soon as all of that cheesecloth is done, I'll show you putting it out on the line so it can dry. If you want to make air fresheners that doesn't cost hardly any money, these cinnamon ornaments are absolutely amazing. Now I have them hanging on this tree now for a couple days and it still smells amazing. It should smell this way for at least six to eight months. It's such a beautiful scent. It's not fake or it's not artificial. It smells so homey and it's a lot of fun as well. What may be considered a children's project or children's craft actually can have a function. So I waited 24 hours. I actually did put it in the dehydrator and I dried it just a little bit and now I'm hanging them on the tree and it smells so good. Well, there you go, everyone. It is Simple Living and I hope you enjoyed this morning's video. I hope you stay tuned for tonight because there is two videos on a Wednesday and well, I'll let you watch just the end of this video. I just want to take a moment to say thank you guys so much for watching my channel and watching my videos. It means so much to me. I also want to just say a special thank you to Joyce for this lovely box. Joyce sent me some devotional Bibles a long time ago and I love using them and she always remembers my birthday and so she sent me some more devotionals which are so special to me. I'm really devoting more time into reading and just having more quiet time with my devotions. That's something I have really been lacking in the last years. It seems like life gets busy but I'm learning to take a slower pace of living and just focus more on my everyday life and my devotions and my reading. So thank you so much Joyce for this lovely gift. It surely is the gift that will keep on giving. And then she had got these soap making kit and I am going to be working on that in a video here real soon. So thank you so much Joyce for all these lovely things and it means so much thank to me. Thank you so much Joyce for the beautiful pens as well. That's so very kind of you and thank you so much for this.